Hello and welcome again to the next lecture on terpenoids. Today we will discuss on a bicyclic sesquiterpenoid. The name is santonin. We will discuss on its occurrence and uses, structure elucidation, synthesis, reactions of santonin and finally the stereochemistry of santonin which is very important. First of all, introduction of santonin. It is obtained from the dried ex unexpanded flower heads of Artemisia, which is also known as worm seed and it is found in Asia. Its uses is, it is widely used in medicine as an anthelmintic. Anthelmintic means it is a very useful medicine to expel out the intestinal worm, round worms. Next we come to the structure determination of santonin which is based on the chemical analysis. The steps are as usual. First of all the molecular formula from elemental analysis. It is shown that the molecular formula of santonin is C15H18O3. From this the number of carbon atoms is 15 which gives very useful information about the fundamental structure of santonin. First, it belongs to sesquiterpenoid class of compounds as it contains 15 carbon atoms. And secondly, according to special isoprene rule, the three isoprene units are joined in head to tail fashion. The third important information is achieved from this molecular formula is the degree of unsaturation which is given by the following formula and uh, keeping the values of uh, x and y from the formula we get double bond equivalent equal to 7 this means these 7 either double bonds are present or it is a cyclic structure rings are present in the uh, molecule next we come to the type of unsaturation that is the nature of unsaturation which uh, gives information about this seven double bond equivalents it is done as follows santonin is subjected to hydrogenation using a catalyst and uh, it um, forms tetrahydro santonin this tetrahydro santonin as you can see the difference in the molecular formula is of hydrogen atoms is of 18 and 22 this, this means four hydrogen atoms it means two molecules of hydrogen atoms are, molecules are being consumed and we reach to the conclusion that it contains two double bonds as two molecules of hydrogen are consumed next we come to the nature of oxygen first of all we should know that it is a neutral compound neither acidic nor basic and uh, the nature of oxygen we have to take the nature of oxygen of three atoms that means it contains three oxygen atoms with this uh, the it can be done by the following reaction santonin dissolves in alkali to form the salt of hydroxy acid this is santonic acid the formation of santonic acid gives very useful information about the nature of the oxygen atoms this centon hydroxy acid can be formed probably from the lactone type of ring because lactone type of ring on hydrolysis with sodium hydroxide it forms a hydroxy acid like you can see here so the most probably the structure of this of santonin contains a lactone type of ring so two oxygen atoms are being consumed as you can see the conclusion santonin is a lactone this can also be further verified by ri spectra ir spectra shows a carbonyl band at 1770 centimeter inverse which is a characteristic of saturated gamma lactone this means a gamma lactone type of ring is present in santonin there is one more oxygen atom we have only verified the two oxygen atoms there is one more oxygen atom in santonin and it can be subject again subjected to chemical analysis to show the nature of this oxygen atom and it uh, santonin forms oxygen with hydroxyl amine as you can see this is a characteristic reaction of carbonyl containing compounds this means one carbonyl group is present in santonin 
Santonin contains a carbonyl group. This is the conclusion of the above chemical reaction. It can also be verified by the UV spectrum. UV spectrum of uh, Santonin shows lambda max at 236 nanometer and its epsilon max value is this one conclusion can be drawn that the carbonyl group is the form of alpha beta unsaturated ketone this lambda max is the characteristic value for the alpha beta unsaturated ketone thus up till now we have reached to the following conclusions the molecular formula of santonin is c15 h18 o3 its double bond equivalent is equal to 7 which corresponds to two carbon carbon double bonds one lactone ring one lactone ring corresponding to two double bond equivalents that means four and one keto group is pres uh, present also this corresponds to double bond equivalent means up till now we have justified the five double bond equivalents two uh, double bond equivalents are still left so next we come to the carbon skeleton of santonin this can be uh, verified this carbon skeleton can be verified with this uh, reaction with zinc on this centonin on uh, distillation with zinc dust it gives a mixture of 1,4 dimethyl naphthalene 1,4 dimethyl naphthol and propene the formation of these products suggests the presence of naphthalene structure in santonin as you can see naphthalene structure in santonin which corresponds to two double bond equivalents which means that two rings are present in santonin just you can see there one uh, we have also justified the two the naphthalene skeleton or two rings are present so it gives a total of seven double bond equivalents next very important uh, structure determination point is the presence of 7 ethyl 1 methyl naphthalene structure in santonin as we have to now justify the positions of double bonds the position of lactone ring and the position of the methyl groups present in the santonin as you can see the santonin santonin on a catalytic hydrogenation it forms tetrahydrosantonin which on reduction clemenson reduction it yields a deoxy tetrahydrosantonin that means the carbonyl group is converted into CH2 group on a selenium dehydrogenation it yields this type of hydrocarbon the name is 7-ethyl 1-methyl naphthalene this 7-methyl uh, 1-ethyl 7-ethyl 1-methyl naphthalene is also obtained from another formula uh, further reduction of this tetrahydrosantonin it forms hexahydrosantonin or you can also uh, this done the we can also do the hydrogenation directly also leading to hexahydrosantonin in uh, which on selenium dehydrogenation is the same naphthalene structure as you can see and this the formation of this naphthalene structure corresponds to 13 carbon atoms which is present in Santonin. That's the conclusion you can see here. This indicates the presence of this skeleton in Santonin and the presence of this skeleton forms that 13 carbon atoms are present. Now we have to assign two more carbon atoms which we can also do during hydrogenation. This is an actual fact that during selenium dehydrogenation angular methyl very important thing you should note this angular methyl and carboxyl groups are lost. This means we already know that the lactone ring is present in santonin which might have converted a, on a selenium dehydrogenation it might have converted into carboxylic acid which is lost during selenium dehydrogenation. This corresponds to one more carbon atom which is present uh, uh, in the form of uh, lactone ring. One more is uh, also we have to assign might be this probably might be the probable uh, uh, the probable condition is that an uh, angular methyl group may be present in santonin which during uh, dehydrogenation might have been lost 
so the we have assigned uh, two more carbon atoms c13 already but it contains c15 we have have probably we have assigned the probability that might be one in the form of carboxylic group and other in the form of methyl group but we have to justify this with some chemical analysis which is done in the further point this is next we come to formation of and structure determination of hyposantonin it is a very important compound which is formed from santonin and it gives very important information about the structure of santonin santonin on uh, form on reaction with hydroxyl amine as we have already read it forms oxen which on reduction with zinc and h2so4 it forms uh, santone amine this means the oxen the oxen form part has converted into an amine on which on reaction with nitrous acid it forms hyposantonin this hyposantonin is subjected to chemical analysis a structure formula is determined and its double bond equivalent is also equal to the santonin which is 7 now let us uh, see the structure determination of hyposantonin we will go very in generally first it uh, converts kmno4 oxidation converts it into dicarboxylic acids 36 dimethyl phthalic acid is formed from hyposantonin and uh, this reveals the presence of two uh, the ring structure which has been degraded during oxidation the second is a uh, uh, reaction with iodine and acetic acid it is uh, the electron ring is might have been uh, uh, broken here with iodine and uh, and sent for resulting in the formation of santonic acid as you can see here and re resulting in uh, next the barium hydroxide reaction as you can see the structure is this type of structure is obtained the same structure is obtained from hcl and ethanol also as you can see and reaction with barium hydroxide leading to the same structure this means you can see very well here that the position of two methyl groups are the same in all the reactions this means we can assign the position of the two methyl groups in hyposantonin as you can see in the next slide As you can see in this slide, this is hyposantonin. We have assigned the structure of hyposantonin here, and uh, from this you can see the reactions HCl and ethanol. This is the uh, dihydrosantonic acid, which is main band. We have assigned the uh, formula, uh, assigned the position of hyposantonin in these uh, two cases, and the reaction gives uh, this uh, barium hydroxide. It gives this type of structure, as you can see here. From the basis of this hyposantonin, we can also assign uh, the structure of santonin as you can see in this slide. This is the structure of hypo. Uh, this is the structure of santonin based on hyposantonin. As you can, uh, we have uh, taken the possibility of selenium dehydrogenation here, and we have assigned the position of one methyl group in this position. This angular methyl group is present, which have been uh, lost during selenium dehydrogenation so this is the lactone ring on the basis of this and we have assigned and uh, this structure reveals all the reactions that we have studied earlier as you can see that sodium hydroxide reaction with sodium hydroxide it is forming hydroxy carbox uh, carboxylic acid which uh, uh, reveals the presence of a lactone ring zinc distillation as you can see the three compounds as we have already studied and you can see here the of reactions of santonin with uh, hydroxyl amine yielding oxen and with zinc and sulfuric acid it forms santone amine this carbonyl oxen group is reduced into amino group similarly the uh, de uh, catalytic hydrogenation as you can see the formation of tetrahydrosantonin hexahydrosantonin and uh, the reduction with the uh, on the upper side you can see the clemenson reduction conversion of this carbonyl group into ch2 group yielding deoxy tetrahydrosantonin and with selenium dehydrogenation it forms 7 ethyl 1 methyl naphthalene and uh, corresponding similarly the catalytic hydrogenation complete it forms hexahydrosantonin and with selenium de dehydrogenation it forms 1 methyl 7 ethyl naphthalene thus by assigning this structure all the reactions and the final products have been explained by this 
Sandonian structure so we can easily assign this Sandonian structure this final structure of Sandonian has been confirmed by synthesis as you can see the starting compound we have taken is this carbonyl compound alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound uh, with uh, here this is Michael addition with this malonic ester uh, this undergoes rearrangement and uh, the addition of this um, uh, Michael addition takes place at this carbon atom as you can see here the this Michael addition is stereo specific reaction and malonic ester group it occupies the most preferable equatorial position in this cyclohexane ring as you can see here which on conversion this on conversion the reaction with selenium oxidation it forms this type of compound and uh, resulting in the formation of you can see double bond here resulting in double bond here and the reaction with sodium hydroxide and hydrolysis and heating it yields this uh, type of compound as you can see hydrolysis yields uh, convert it into carboxylic acid and finally is acidic hydrolysis and heating is to decarboxylation resulting in the formation of this type of compound finally on selenium oxide it forms alpha and beta santonin this is the method uh, preparation for the alpha and beta santonin this carboxylic acid which is being formed it is a racemic mixture of both alpha and beta santonin which uh, subsequently the alpha form of this carboxylic acid yields uh, forms the alpha santonin and the beta form of this forms the beta santonin next we come to very important reactions of santonin first of all is the santonin on reaction with nitrous acid it forms hyposantonin as you can see here hyposantonin this is involves a very important rearrangement as you can see here involving a electrophile this nitrosonium ion have been formed with the nitrous acid this nitrosonium ion reacts with amine here resulting in the diazotization process as you can see these are all the diazotization process which have been formed finally this nitrogen which has resulted in this this nitrogen can be easily it's a very good leaving group it expels out from the compound resulting in the rearrangement and formation of you can see resulting in the formation of secondary carbocation this undergoes wagner meyerwin rearrangement that is one to shift resulting in the formation of more stable tertiary carbocation and which on uh, the resultant or expulsion of proton forms the hyposantonin so the driving force for this wagner meyerwin rearrangement is the formation of a more stable aromatic ring again such, a, such type of uh, rearrangement is also uh, found in dienone phenol rearrangement as you can see santonin in the presence of acid it undergoes rearrangement and forms demo uh, demo tropos santonin this demo tropos santonin has been formed by the same uh, as we have studied same type of rearrangement as we have studied as you can see this is dienone santonin contains dienone type in the presence of acid it again undergo protonation as you can see and then uh, this rearrangement takes place rearrangement resulting in the formation of this carbocation this carbocation again undergoes wagner meyerwin rearrangement as you can see one two shift resulting in the formation of a more stable tertiary carbocation which then undergoes deprotonation yielding demotroposantonin Okay, this is also known as dienone phenol rearrangement very important reaction of santonin these rearrangement reactions uh, made scientists very difficult for uh, the structure determination of uh, santonin due to its facile rearrangement next or last we come to the stereochemistry of santonin as you can see in the structure it contains four uh, stereo centers or chiral centers are present and the naturally occurring alpha and beta santonins as you can see the structure it uh, the difference in the structure is at c11 epinet that means it is a c11 epinet this the difference between alpha and beta santonin uh, results from the this carbon atom as you can see it is a this is alpha santonin it has s configuration and this is the structure of beta santonin 
it has our configuration that's all stay safe stay healthy thank you